guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm bringing you guys the first vlog ever. I'm just gonna take off my mask. So I'm bringing you guys the first vlog ever. I hope this goes well. So I'm at Constitutional Hill and I thought I should get out of the house and stop being a weirdo. So I'm here at Constitutional Hill and let me just show you guys my um, first thing. So, here's the sticker thing. I feel cool with this thing because I don't attain a lot of humans. So, we are. I'm waiting for the guide right now to come and take us around. And so, before I can go on, you're probably wondering what is Constitutional Hill? Constitutional Hill is today a museum, but also the current location of the South African Constitutional Court. It was a former jail built by former President Paul Kruger of the former South African apartheid state. But not everyone that walked through these jails was a criminal. For example, Henry Numalo, a fighter of the South African struggle, who walked through these jails for five days in 1954 for, let's just say, non-criminal activities. Whereas you have Unongoloza, one of the first founders of the South African numbers gangs that exist today. Prisoners in this place were segregated by race. And a little known fact is that even their bread was segregated. How petty. Yes, black people got brown bread and white people got white bread. Clearly the place has a long and dark history dating back all the way to the late 1800s. What you're looking at is the former number four, which was the men's prison. It housed men and, of course, they were segregated. White men were allowed to perform clerical tasks, giving them skills for the outside, whereas black men had to perform laborious tasks in the fields. So given the dark history of this place, I hope you won't mind that I'll be adding rather jolly music to this vlog because I would like to make it as educational and light-hearted as possible. So what I'm about to show you are the demonstrations laid out at the number four prison, the former men's prison. What you see is the beds, are the beds and how they would sleep. It was much more crammed than what is demonstrated as the guide told us. And if you remember generations, you'll remember the character of Jack Mabasso. So I found that interesting that he was actually a real person right here. And these are, I guess, the... I really can't remember what this is. But that's the whole thing of if you want to see it, you can always go there. I can't remember what this was, but these are like chains and things. And yeah, that ends that part.
So this is the wall of people that have contributed to the founding of the court, if I remember correctly. And yeah, these are the people and this tree means something. I don't know what it means. It's been a year since I've recorded this video, so please forgive me. And we're about to enter the constitutional court, the highest court in South Africa, where if you feel that your constitutional rights have been violated, you can take it up with this court and i was told that media and citizens are allowed to actually come in and sit on cases so i find that quite interesting and if i ever get the chance i'd love to do that myself yes what i find most interesting about this place is that if you saw the bricks on the right side of the screen those are the original bricks that were used to build what was a former prison this place was a former prison in case i didn't mention that so the idea i was told was to I guess use what was once a painful memory and use it to build something that would bring justice to the people so I think that's a very beautiful and interesting idea so hi guys once again so I've just completed the um the tour the guided tour which basically like comes with a guide and now I'm on my own so I get to explore this place as I want because you're allowed to do that um, it was super fun super I mean as fun as it can be it was educational I guess so like it was educational obviously and I got to learn about you know the injustices of our country and stuff like that so I definitely recommend that you guys visit this place it's super cool um and yeah you know and it's quite sad obviously as sad as it can be but it's definitely interesting that's for sure so i'm gonna try and find the woman's prison and i hope you guys just enjoyed i don't know how i'm gonna put this together i might just let the footage run of like all the places with music and stuff i might narrate it or something i don't know this is my first vlog so just kind of be kind rewind catch you at the woman's prison so we are headed to the women's prison now um, yeah and this is just what it looks like because the beginning of the tour shows you how the men lived and my battery is running out so I'm recording this on my phone that's why I look so pale what so we're just gonna go ahead and see so at this point I was actually lost this is not my way to the women's prison but instead it is the way to the old fort which is another part of the tour this is part of the south tour so i'm just gonna show you this part because i just think it's nice pov footage <laughs> so enjoy that So I finally make it down to women's jail and what do you guys say we cut the vlog here and continue to explore the women's jail next time. In the meantime, you can tell me how I can improve this vlog through my editing and for the future. Let's make it better for women. Stay cool, stay pretty and I'll see you next time.